What is up, Zolmates? It is Zol, and we are back with another BandLab mobile tutorial. Recently, I've been using BandLab to quickly record some guitar and jot down song ideas that I have on my phone. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to record guitar on BandLab and also take it one step further and mix those guitars to turn it into a full song. All right, quick plug, quick plug. Before we hop on BandLab, I have a free guitar and bass sample pack coming very soon on my store. Um, it works with any DAW, so you will even be able to use it on BandLab on your phone. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Be sure to be subscribed to the channel. That helps a lot. All right. I have my guitar out and I also have earbuds in and they are connected to my phone. So. These earbuds have a built-in mic, and this is what I'm gonna be using to record my guitar. You can just use your built-in phone mic, that is gonna work just fine. Let's press on this plus button, and then we're gonna click on voice slash mic because we're gonna be recording our guitar. Okay, here is our track. We're gonna click on the monitoring button. Hello. Uh, and now let's go to settings. The tempo's at 120. You can turn it to whatever you want. I'm gonna put it at 115. And now we're gonna turn on the tempo. There we go, press play. Sounds great. I'm gonna turn down the volume because we don't want the metronome to be playing in the background while, while we are recording. Put my phone down. And now I'm gonna put the mic just a little bit over the hole of the guitar. There's gotta be a better name for that. I'm gonna put it up on the screen if I figure that out. Um, and let's just play some chords. So I've got an F going into an A minor, going into an E, and we're just gonna hit record and play those chords. There we go. We've got our recorded guitar. We've got our recorded guitar. I'm gonna put the guitar up over there, and now we're just gonna go to the start of where I played. So right here, and we're gonna click on the split button, and then we're gonna delete this earlier part, and then just move this to the start of our song. Now let's press play. Sounds great. I also recently learned that you can press denoise over here and it's gonna take away the static of the guitar. And it honestly does a really good job, so I was impressed at that. Now we're gonna double click on the track microphone and we're gonna go to FX because now we're gonna want to mix this guitar. So let's go over here and add some audio effects. The first audio effect is going to be a compressor. That is going to be squashing some of the really harsh hits that are annoying to the listener. And then it's also just going to be generally boosting the guitar. So let's go to um, this BL compressor. Let's press play. Let's turn the ratio, make it a little bit quicker. There we go. Next up is going to be EQ. And as you can tell, there's a really like low frequency, low frequency with this guitar. And we don't really want that. So we're going to play this guitar and then lower this 100 hertz range. There we go. Also lower 200 a little bit. I like that. So next up is going to be reverb. Reverb is gonna be like adding the sauce to this guitar. So as you can tell, it's really static. It's kind of just lame in general. So now we're gonna throw in some studio reverb and this is gonna give it a lot of space. We don't want too much space though. So let's lower the size and that's gonna make this reverb, instead of sounding like it's in a, it's in a huge hall, 
it's now just gonna sound like it's in a pretty tight room, but it's still gonna add that flavor, so. Oh yeah. So next up I think is gonna be another compressor, just to squeeze it even more. And then another reverb. And let's choose a different one. Let's go with this space maker. Let's make this one a little bit more wide, but not have too much mix in it. There we go. That just sound sounds so much better. So let's go over here. This is what our original guitar sounded like after being denoised. Sounds fine, but sounds kind of static. It doesn't sound really saucy. So now we throw on those audio effects. That's perfect. So we could be satisfied with that. Um, this sounds good, but I think the next step just to level up this guitar even more is to do something called doubling. So what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this track. There we go. So now we have two tracks playing the same thing, but as you can tell, it just sounds like it's the same um, guitar. So what we're going to do is we're going to delete this last one. We're going to come over here. We're going to mute this top one. And now I'm just going to record the same exact thing, but on this track right here. Usually I would keep recording the that guitar until I got a more clean take, but we're just gonna run with that for the sake of this video. So I'm gonna turn the volume up and then we're, we're gonna do what we did last time. We're just gonna split this, delete this, move it over here. So now when we press play after unmuting this top track, it's the same guitar. They're playing the same thing, but you can definitely tell that there's a difference and Next step, just to add even more sauce, put in both of your headphones and move one of the track tracks 50 to the right, one of the tracks 50 to the left, and now we have to denoise this track right here. There we go. Now. Obviously, they're a little off time. I could have played them better, but that sounds really clean. So that's how I mainly mix my guitars on BandLab. Um, we can go in here and rename this one left and then rename this one right. And now we have some rhythm guitars, what you could call them. Um, and now we're gonna add a lead guitar. So I'm just gonna duplicate this. I'm gonna rename this lead. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna mute the other guitar. So mute, mute. And now when we press play, we can only hear this guitar. And now I'm gonna go to my FX and I'm gonna add a delay to this lead guitar. So we're gonna go to delay right here. Let's add a filter echo. That sounds really nice. And also I want to go to our EQ, e, EQ and take even more of these lows out and then boost the highs a lot. That sounds dope. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to delete this guitar 
bring in the lead, bring in the rhythm guitars, the left and the right doubled guitars. And now I'm going to play a melody on top of this with this lead guitar. And before I do that, quick outro. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it helped you. I hope you learned something about BandLab, about recording guitars. And yeah, I have another BandLab tutorial on this channel. Also have a GarageBand Mobile tutorial on this channel. Um, stay tuned for that guitar pack. It is loaded. Really excited to be dropping that. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Helps the channel out a lot. So have a good day. Have a good night and have a nice time.